<laughs> she was saying that these two are at the same cross section. This the Body Worlds exhibit gave people a chance to be interactive with human organs and the opportunity to learn more about the human anatomy. Visitors like Jerry Worth took this opportunity to get an in-depth look into the newest addition to the exhibit, the brain. I've been in first aid for pretty much all my life and an instructor for probably about 15 years. So just uh, expanding knowledge and getting to see what everything actually looks like inside instead of pictures. Part of it was to do with the brain, the cardiovascular system in general. So um, the brain, uh, because of the number of people who die from strokes and stuff like that, um, I wanted to get just a little more in-depth knowledge of exactly where all the different parts were located by actually seeing them. So that was another reason. All the specimens in the exhibit have been donated through a body donation program where the science of plastination is used to preserve them. Body World's media coordinator Pamela Saunders says certain body parts are hard to preserve. The two hardest parts of the body to preserve are the eye and actually the brain, which is interesting because this exhibit's all about the brain. Um, for the eye specifically, it's the first thing in our body that starts to deteriorate after death. And so in the exhibits, most of the eyes um, are false. Um, and as for the brain, it's, it's made up of mostly water and fatty tissue. And what happens in the process of plastination is they remove the water and replace it with a resin. So when the material itself is mostly water, that can take some doing. So. The Body Worlds exhibit can be a place of enlightenment and contemplation and has been viewed by more than 28 million people. Casey Snow in Vancouver for BCIT Magazine.